The Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology has developed a robotic system called Hubo-Q, designed for transporting people. This autonomous mobile robot is part of the Hubo series, known for its advanced humanoid and mobile robotic machines. Hubo-Q represents an innovative solution in the field of personal transportation. It is equipped with an advanced navigation system, including LIDARs, cameras, and sensors, which allow the robot to safely navigate its environment and avoid obstacles. This enables Hubo-Q to transport passengers efficiently and safely along predefined routes. The robot features an ergonomic design and a comfortable passenger seat, making the ride both convenient and pleasant. Hubo-Q can autonomously plan routes, taking into account road and pedestrian zone congestion, and adapt to changing environmental conditions. The development of Hubo-Q is part of CAST's efforts to integrate advanced technologies into everyday life. Hubo-Q can also be used as a robot for autonomous delivery. South Korea, like many other countries, is transitioning from enhanced social distancing to what authorities call everyday distancing. The use of robots in Korean bars and restaurants has long ceased to be news. While they usually prepare cocktails and coffee or take orders, at Coffee Bar K in Seoul, there is a robot that performs a single task, carving ice balls for chilling drinks. The robot named Cabo stands 180 centimeters tall in a specially tailored vest and bow tie behind the bar, commenting on its actions and offering guests whiskey with ice. Cabo has been working at Coffee Bar K since 2017. But its presence is particularly relevant now as people feel significant anxiety being indoors with others. Although the robot's task may seem primitive, it boasts flawless execution. The ice balls come out perfectly smooth. But it's not just South Korea that has begun the widespread implementation of humanoid robots in various industries. Japan is also a leader in this field with numerous promising developments. For example, the THR3 robot can also perform the duties of a bartender, much like its Korean counterpart. The movements of the robot can be controlled by a human operator using the Master Maneuvering System module. The operator receives tactile feedback and images transmitted from the robot, displayed on an HTC Vive virtual reality headset. Additionally, there are special gloves and servo motors that allow the operator to control the robot with precise movements and applied force instantly. The robot is capable of good balance, including standing on one leg while performing various movements. The Toyota THR3 robot stands about 152 centimeters tall and weighs around 75 kilograms. It serves as a test platform, but the concepts and capabilities implemented in it can eventually be used in devices working in domestic environments, medical institutions, construction sites, disaster-stricken areas, and even in space. The Korean company Naver Labs, in collaboration with the Korea University of Technology and Education, has developed an advanced robot named LIMS-3 Ambidex. Ambidex is equipped with a robotic hand called the BLT Gripper, which can change gripping methods to perform various tasks such as washing dishes, peeling vegetables and catching flying objects. The cable-driven system used in Ambidex operates with electric motors that control the tension and movement of the cables. This allows the robot to move with high precision and adapt to changes in the environment. One of the key features of Ambidex is its ability to learn through demonstrations. Engineers have developed a tactile device that enables the robot to replicate human movements by capturing the parameters of motion and force. This allows the robot to perform complex tasks after a single demonstration, using the data collected during the learning process. The future is indeed closer than it seems. On board the cruise ship MSC Virtuosa, an interactive robotic bar has been launched. The concept of this bar includes LED walls with holograms, interactive tables and terminals, and a robot bartender named Rob. The robot bartender Rob is not only capable of mixing and serving alcoholic and non-alcoholic cocktails, but also engaging with people, greeting, and conversing with passing guests in eight languages. 
Touch screens are embedded in the columns and walls, which can also be used to order drinks. An LED strip above the bar informs the customer when their order is ready, and a QR code is sent to their smartphone for order collection. According to MSC, it took almost six years to develop the Starship Club from the initial concept to its realization. South Korean engineers have developed the informational robot Mero 3, designed to provide informational services in public spaces. This robot is a continuation of the successful Mero series and is intended for interacting with people in shopping malls, airports, hospitals, and office buildings. Mero 3 is equipped with a touchscreen for user interaction, as well as various sensors and cameras for recognizing and responding to questions. The robot offers a wide range of services, including building navigation, answering frequently asked questions, and providing current information integrated with various systems. Mero 3 can also be used for advertising and marketing purposes, informing users about products, services, and special offers. This robot showcases the high level of competence of South Korean engineers and contributes to improving customer service quality and institutional efficiency. Kibo is an advanced humanoid robot developed by the Korea Institute of Science and Technology. This robot is designed for research and social interaction and communication with humans. Kibo stands out due to its cartoon-like face, capable of expressing various emotions, making it more appealing and understandable to users. The main goal of developing Kibo is to create a robot that can effectively interact with people in various situations. It is equipped with 43 degrees of freedom, allowing it to perform complex and precise movements. This enables it to walk, move its arms, turn its head and perform other actions that mimic human movements. One of Kibo's key features is its ability for autonomous navigation. The robot can move through different spaces without the need for constant operator control. Kibo is also capable of recognizing and processing voice commands. Thanks to built-in microphones and speech processing systems, the robot can understand what people are saying and respond appropriately to commands. Researchers from the Korea Institute of Science and Technology demonstrated a robot called Cyros at the Robot World Exhibition, which can cut a salad. Unfortunately, waiting for the robot to prepare a salad will take longer than if a human did it. But if you have some free time, you can watch Cyros meticulously cut zucchini into pieces, place them in a bowl and drizzle them with dressing. According to KIST engineers, the robot is capable of recognizing objects, including kitchen appliances like a microwave and refrigerator. Cyros is equipped with a stereo camera and an infrared sensor. A laser rangefinder and six ultrasonic sensors help the device navigate around obstacles, and thanks to a microphone, the robot can recognize speech. Cyros stands 160 centimeters tall and weighs 150 kilograms. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video did you like the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.